Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your sicko brand's email dab of the day with diamonds. Hello, everybody. Today is Monday. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, send a comment, and please join the Senior Stoner family. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get started with today's topic. Well, how many of you have been told all your lives, work hard, work hard and you'll be successful? You know what? You can work long hours. You can put in more effort than most people. But if you don't have the right mindset, the right behaviors, and if you're not doing the right thing, you're going to produce little or no results. So let's talk about why some people will never succeed in life despite working hard for their goals and things that they desire. Let's discuss. Well, these people are unsure of what success looks like to them. Unfortunately, success is about finding clarity. Most people don't have it. Most people have no idea what success looks like, and they have no idea what kind of life they want to live. There's no point in working hard if you don't know what you want. You must identify your destination before you start your journey. Think, right? Huh? Most people want to start their own business. They prefer to be their own boss rather than working for someone else. But most people don't do it. Why? The reason is that they have no idea what kind of business to build. As a result, they don't start. When you lack clarity... You're not giving your mind a clear set of instructions to follow. And if you don't tell your mind what to do, it chooses to do something that's comfortable and what has always done. Therefore, find out what kind of success you want. Define your success. Envision the future that you want. Start with empowering vision. Spend time to truly think about your future. Because people that don't have a clear plan to stick to are not going to succeed. You see, success is not an accident. You can manufacture your own success. Once you've identified exactly what you want to achieve in life, the next step you can take is to create a vivid plan so you can execute step by step and move closer to your destination. But sadly, most people don't have a plan for the success they want. They have a plan for their vacations and weekend days off, but they don't have a plan for the future, their future. This is why these people can never achieve the success they desire. When you don't have a plan, you don't know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, you become reactive. You become part of the crowd following other people, wherever they're moving, the lemming. When you turn on social media and you see your friend sharing his holiday trip photos in Bali, you tell yourself, wow, I want to go to Bali too. When you see your friend getting a better car, I want to get a better car too. You become distracted, distracted, and distracted because you're always comparing. This is what happens when we don't have a clear path of where we want to go and what we want to do. Thus... Stop living a reactive life and start being proactive in advance. Create an action plan for ourselves, for the goals, the dreams we want to achieve. And more importantly, stick to them. We can learn how to create an action plan pretty easily. Watch my previous videos. People who can't succeed aren't being consistent enough. Well, that's true. They start strong but they get distracted. And when they don't see results they want, they doubt themselves and their goals. They lose interest and start looking for something new. Like fitness. You can't work out in the gym for just one day or two and expect six pack abs. It doesn't work that way. You have to be consistent. Therefore, being consistent with what you do is important. Stop looking for another new project or opportunity until we create success in the one we're pursuing right now. People make excuses and aren't willing to change at all. It's another reason why people fail to get the success they want. 
Successful people don't make excuses. When they face difficulties in pursuing their goals, they don't give lousy excuses and tell you why they can't do it. Instead, they take full responsibility and find a way to make it work. Me, that's what I've always done. When I found a problem, I faced it. I've said, why me? But I've also said, try me. When you're absolutely committed, you're willing to overcome any obstacles and solve all the problems. But if you're not, you need to continue to make the lousy excuses and say it's too hard. The competition is too stiff. Market's not good right now. So we need to stop making excuses and start taking full responsibility for ourselves and our life. When we do that, guess what? We can make a change. It's because when you believe that you're the one creating the result, you can make a change. Instead of blaming the competition, you can work on yourself and improve your own program to achieve better results. We have to choose not to make the excuses. Focus on ourselves and where we can improve, then make those necessary changes. People that don't succeed have been chasing the wrong things. Well, sometimes people set the wrong goals and go after the wrong things. Only you can tell if you're chasing the wrong things. You will find that it's difficult to come up with the motivation you need if it's the wrong goal. Think about that one. There's no point to be the richest person in the graveyard. You want to be successful in areas of life. What is more important, I think, is for us to align life's values with the things we want to achieve. Don't just blindly build the business, spend 18 hours a day working on it, put 10 years into it, only finding out that it's not something you want to do. Stop chasing the wrong goals. Please dig deep on this one into your hearts. Is this what I want to do? You see, the mistake a lot of people make, I think, is they choose the instant gratification. People want things quick and easy. They prefer to enjoy the instant gratification rather than sacrifice their leisure right now to work for a better future they want. If I had sacrificed four years in Syracuse and turned them into seven, I could have been a lawyer, could have been a doctor, could have been anything I wanted to be, but I didn't get it then. I didn't understand. I was living the pleasure principle. So don't just say or dream about the success you want. Take action now. Delay the gratification. Take it from me and work on your goals. When people get to choose to watch a movie or to work on their dreams, you know what? They're going to go the easy and comfortable route and watch the freaking movie. This is why a lot of people are not getting the results they want out of life. They prefer to play games, to sleep, to have fun, to get high, enjoy life without taking the hard route and work on their projects. My son, my son, God bless him, is the opposite, the opposite, the opposite. Hard work is what he enjoys. Achieving his goal is what makes him tick. So how do we get like that? How do people get like that? Well, I think what has to happen is you have to think about risk. You have to think about, yes, I might fail. Yes, I'm afraid of rejection, of uncertainty. But you got to press on. Because if you're not taking risk and you continue just to do what you've been doing, you know what you're going to get? What you've always got. So you can't build a multi-million or billion dollar business playing golf four hours a day. Sorry, there's only 24 hours in a day. So what we need to learn, and it's not easy, is to delay gratification and work on what's truly important in our lives right now. It's all right to take a day off here and there, but you got to make sure you're making progress and moving forward. People that aren't succeeding just aren't committed and determined enough. That really is what it comes down to lacking commitment and determination. If you have a health issue that prevents it, I understand. But you know what? 
no matter what you are, who you are right now, if you throw 100% in, you've got a chance at success in life. It may not be easy, and it can be really hard, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. People must learn from their own failures and mistakes, and those of others, in order to succeed, or you will not move forward. You must learn. You must not make the same mistakes over and over again. Extraordinary people learn from their mistakes and failures. You cannot stop trying and give up. You must improve your strategy and try again until you succeed. See, it's a journey. It's a journey to success. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, but we must learn to upgrade. Upgrade our knowledge base. Upgrade how we see things. Improve ourselves. Senior Stoner 2.0 whatever it will be, because you know what? I think most people out there don't succeed because they give up and quit too soon. What if around that next bend was the solution to the problem? What if that next breath, the phone rings with a job offer? What if you open your email and something's crazy, you've got an inheritance? My point is, some people will not have anywhere in life to go. That's right. They'll just keep saying it's not possible. They'll keep saying, I'm going to give up. They don't read books to expand their knowledge or keep themselves updated. They don't go to schools or have any skills. So if you don't improve yourself, if you just want to be where you are right now because you're comfort in comfort zone, hey, you know what? Have at it. But if you want to succeed in life and you really want to do what you set out to do or what you're capable of, it takes a lot of effort. It just does. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. Hoping that we all, we all are able to take the most out of ourselves, be the most we can. And really, I got to tell you, it's not that difficult. There are a couple things we have to remember not to do along the way, but many of us can really, really become successful. And it's just a matter of a little tweaking in our lifestyle. Think of it. We're not reinventing who we are, the wheel. None of that. Thanks for joining me in our discussion today. Here's our sicko email and some Mendo breath diamonds. Cheers. Have a great day. And for gosh sake, find a way to make yourself the success you want. You can do it. Cheers, everybody, and have a great day. Wow. A little monster, I'll call this. Wow. Have a great one.